Hello everyone, welcome to Prakash IT. Today we are going to explore stream package collectors class. Okay, so as part of this tutorial, we are going to see what are the methods that is there and what is the purpose of that and why we should use this collectors class. What is the importance of this collector class? Okay, so let me show you as part of last video, I have shown you why this intermediate operation of stream API is lazy. Okay, that I have shown you. So here I have used, that is not our part of uh, today's discussion. My, our part of discussion is we are using this collect while collecting, we are using collector dot class, uh, collectors class dot to list. Okay, so this collectors class, what is that? Collectors is a class. Okay, so what I can show you. So if I go to this documentation, I can show you this is this is this collector class is implementation of collector interface. Okay. So while writing, so in this example, what we are doing, we are filtering and we are collecting, uh, we are collecting this, uh, whatever the number, which are even that we are collecting as a list. Okay. So here we are providing the implementation dot to list. The to list is the method inside the collector class that implementation we are actually, we are going, we are um, directly we are calling. Okay. We are not bothering about what and how that method to list method is implemented uh, okay so this is the predefined method we are calling of collector class okay but if we want we can implement this collector whatever the collector interface i have shown you this collector interface inside this uh, collector collector interface we can uh, we can implement while let me show you so for example we have implemented this we have uh, calling this to list method what we can do we can create our class okay that implements this that that should implements collector interface and we can uh, develop by implement whatever the method that is there inside this interface collector and we can that is we can if i show you down we can see you know, this is accumulator characteristics combiner finisher uh, of uh, of uh, to overloaded method and supplier all these methods that is as part of this uh, uh, collectors interface that we have to implement and we have to provide it, oh, sorry we have to provide the implementation of all the methods okay that method that is there as part of the collector interface that we are going to provide in order to provide our custom implementation but the java people what they have done here is that they they have implemented whatever the method that is there uh, they have implemented as part of this implementation class that is collectors class okay whatever the implement uh, the method that is there and some additional methods also they have provided to make the developers life easy so as part of this collectors class the uh, the method that is available as part uh, as part of this class is averaging double averaging int averaging long what is what uh, we'll see with detailed example no need to worry just see uh, just uh, my intention here is to uh, familiarize with the what are the methods that is there as part of this collectors class okay so uh, so like the stream api the intermediate operation terminal operation how i have explained in the similar way each and every method i am going to explain with in detail with example and after the discussion of each example of each one method if of each one method then i am going to provide one uh, whole real time example with interview bits okay so no need to worry just understand and just see and uh, just uh, overlook what are the methods that is available as part of this collectors class okay so there are averaging double averaging int so what it will do it will average the double double and average the for example we have uh, number of integers okay int uh, two three four 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 five numbers are there of type int we want to find the average that kind of uh, case we are uh, we can do by using this average int, averaging long, collect and then after collecting what we should perform that we can do. For example, we got the salary then uh, after getting the salary what we want to do, we want to display the highest salary or something that for that case we can use make use of this then counting. So as part of the stream API you have seen um, the count operation right the count to get the 
uh, how many numbers of element that is there as part of stream so here also if we over if we are working with this collectors class by collecting the collectors dot counting then it is going to return whatever the while, while processing the stream how many implement how many uh, elements we have uh, uh, we have uh, like uh, how many element that is there as part of this it is going to count that okay and grouping by we are using in the database like group by so similarly here we are we can group uh, we can use the group by method of the collectors class uh, to group certain things okay that we are going to see in detail okay uh, and this group by methods there are overloaded methods four four five overloaded methods are there of group by method uh, that we are going to see okay then joining joining also like uh, whenever we have some we want to display some string value uh, and that we are we want to joining joining means uh, for example we have three string uh, string very uh, string value okay list of string let me take one example like we have uh, a list of string we want to join all the strings so we can simply use the joining uh, to in order to concatenate all these uh, strings uh, we want to join with the special delimiter uh, some delimiter like comma or arrow mark something colon uh, whatever the delimiter we want to pass we want to uh, specify that we can do and after the specified del delimiter prefix and suffix for example we are writing uh, we are writing some sorts of uh, uh, for example let me write here let me write here like this is the this is the string how uh, you want something uh, uh, xy or something like this format this format we want this is the this is not this is nothing but the prefix and this is nothing but the suffix that we want to implement we can make use of this uh, joining okay delimiter prefix and suffix we can uh, pro provide okay then mapping whatever the mapping we, if we want to map then uh, how we can use that so that we are going to see what is the downstream and uh, whenever we are using this work with the collectors dot mapping okay that we are going to see and what is the maximum max by mean by partitioning like like we have stream of integer we want to partition uh, some integer should be even and some integer should be uh, odd in that case uh, uh, i'm giving some example right so in that case we can use partitioning by and the predicate the condition the even number or odd number it will partis uh, partition that we are going to see and partitioning by predicate will pass and uh, downstream what is the importance of downstream and what is the use of downstream that we are going to see e reducing uh, and reducing means uh, it will convert to single value right that we have seen and summarizing double summarizing double summarizing in summarizing long uh, summarizing double summing okay summarizing double all these are like important uh, important methods right for after if we work with this summarizing int or summarizing double it is similar so if you work with uh, this this types of things it will give an input uh, sorry int summary statistics from which what we can do uh, in a single shot we can find max mean average all these kind of things we can calculate and uh, summing it summing long uh, two concurrent map and uh, we are using two list two map two two map overloaded method also there and uh, two map and two set all these methods many methods are there i have already shown you all the method that we are going to see uh, as part our this ongoing series of the collectors class with uh, I, what I will take, I let me clear one thing. I, what I will do, I will take simple example. I will demonstrate all the methods. Then, once you understand all the methods, what is the use of that method? Then I am going to explain you uh, a real time example. Okay. Then, once you understand the real time example and what are the interview bits the the interviewer are asking, that I am going to uh, address. Okay. So no need to worry. So today I have given the uh, overall idea what are, what is collector class and what is the uh, method that is there and how we are going to work with the uh, that methods we are going to see as part of the coding section in the next class okay so that's all for this video we'll meet in the next video with the direct in the coding section okay thank you